Tiger Eyes Brittany Bradley, artistic team member from Short Scott Professional. On this video, I'm going to show you how to do a twist out. Stay tuned. Notice how I have went in and detangled the hair before twisting. To each subsection, I've added a little bit of product and I am dividing that section into two. Using two different strands of hair, I am going to twist them in opposite directions and then crisscross those strands of hair. That will actually allow for the hair to be twisted and to lock the twist in place. When I get to the end, I am going to use my finger to coil the remaining strands all together and to allow for a natural coil at the end. And I'll continue to do that all the way around the hair. Adding product, dividing into two, twisting each section in opposite directions, and then crisscrossing those sections. When you're done, it should look something like this. And of course, you can add smaller twists or larger twists depending on your goal. Once the hair is dry, I will start by unraveling at the ends, working my way around the head to unravel each individual twist. Once I've done that, I will take those subsections and I will break it down by separating it to achieve however much volume um, or texture I desire. Once done, the hair can look very flat and you may see partings from your sections where you twist it. So I like to use Osis Soft Dust to spray at the root and to help break that up. Using my hands that have a little bit of soft dust on them, I will place my hands at the root, not pulling through to the ends of the hair because I don't want to disturb the twist pattern, but separating more curls that I feel need to be separated and using my fingers just to tease that hair up and to fluff it and put that hair into shape. And this is our end result. Now to protect this hairstyle, doing a pineapple is ideal. So how do you feel about the twist out? Is this something you can do? Let us know.